Hey there guys, Demo73 here, bringing you a super special unboxing. This is a really cool thing that I am really, really happy to show you. Huge thanks to Team Outer World and Alex the Greatest Blandin for ending up getting this to me, uh, helping me get this to me. I am so pumped to show you guys. This is actually the Anime Expo Prisia exclusive box. Uh, I get to show you guys, uh, managed to help me pick this up. I am very, very excited to show this to you, so let's just go ahead and dig right in. I already opened it up, I haven't done anything else though, so we'll do this. So right inside, there she is, Prisia in all of her glory. This box is huge! Oh, so we'll get this out here. Thankfully that side kind of broke a little bit, so... Get this box out of the way, get the styrofoam out of the way. Re-angle the camera a little bit here so you can see. But here it is, the Prissia Collector's Box. You can see me in the reflection of it, it's nice and clear. I'm gonna get this stuff off of it. Hold on one second. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut right into this, into the cellophane. There's a nice little tab here so I don't hurt the box. So it is nice and cellophane wrapped. Uh, really, really solid, sturdy construction here. You can hear the solidness, so. Got the box, it is kind of a, it's kind of, doesn't, it's not like magnetized or anything, but it does really open really nice and it's very solid, so I don't think it would be like going around much anywhere. So you get the playmat in the back, the deck box, the two structure decks, the Prisia, two packs of sleeves, some packs of the product, and some promos. So we're gonna go ahead and just dig right in piece by piece. So open it up, goes all the way back. We're gonna start with the playmat here in the back. So this is the exclusive Prisia. I'm gonna slide the camera back here, slide that back. So you guys can see it a little bit better. So this is the Prisia uh, Special Edition playmat with her new alt art. Really awesome! Uh, looks really, really sick. I, Prissia is like my favorite ruler. Um, so it's cool to see her get some kind of alternate art treatment here. It just looks really, really nice. So let's just go ahead and dig right into the rest of it. Why don't we go ahead and go to Prissia herself. So we'll kind of grab this. Looks like there's like five little slide out trays. It is, it's five little slide out trays here. So everything's kind of in its own space. So here's the Prisia. It's in a super nice ultra pro magnetic top loader here. Prisia the Beast Lady full art on the front. And then Prisia the Beast Lady, Prisia the Commander of Sacred Beasts on the back. So we got Prisia and Prisia. So open it up here. Let you see that a little bit more up close. Super sick, really awesome, highly collectible. Uh, the Prissia lover S rejoice at the quality of that. We're gonna go ahead and seal that right back up. Doop. So we got that. Then we got these new Ultra Pro sleeves. These are the new Force of Will sleeves. They have the rainbow ones. Uh, I'm gonna open this up and kind of see what I think about one of these. So uh, it's not like holographic or anything, but like it is really cool to have that kind of rainbow colored sleeve there on the back. Uh, for so well, it's just black on the core. So two packs, it's two packs of 65. Uh, so it comes with 130 sleeves, which is sick. Uh, so there's a second one there, and that comes in its own little divider tray. So it looks like you're gonna be able to kind of organize this however you want. And if you didn't see, there's actually the five will symbols right there on the front. It's part of the etching, which is nice. Comes with a premium flip top deck box. We'll get to that here in a second. We've seen this before, so I'm not gonna bother opening it for you but just a forcible premium flip box right there. It comes with a how to play guide. We're not really gonna dig into that. I mean, you know how to play. Um, then my personal favorite is these are the two new teaching decks. This is Peter Pan and Captain Hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig through these really quick because um, we haven't actually really seen the full list. So these are the new teaching decks that are gonna be used. Unlike previous Force of Will teaching decks, it is like actual card quality. Um, so they're kind of, well, not quite. They're a little bit like real cards. They still feel kind of flimsy and a little bit thinner, um, but I think that's because these cards are, if I can remember correctly, these cards aren't actually legally usable uh, in like competitive play, um, but they do feel much better than the previous Structure decks. These stones, by the way, are ridiculous. These are like exclusive stones. I don't know why they have letters on them. That seems kind of interesting. I'm sure there's instructions with like how to like set up the demo deck a certain way. Um, but this is what they look like. So, the boy who can't grow up into Peter Pan. All the different cards. I definitely think this is probably like 
to help players learn so like you set it up in a certain way to like teach people i think that's really nice that the fact that the teaching decks are gonna have nice little lettering on them because then like if you're trying to give an instructional you can just like follow the instructions and it's much easier to kind of teach them in a certain way rather than having a random deck and hope that they draw things to be able to teach from and then we got captain hook over here she will open up i think i'm gonna put these in the new sleeves uh Captain Hook and his pirates, and his regalia, spells, and his water stones, which are also very unique. So really, really cool to have like permanent copies of these structure decks, or these demo decks. Uh, we're going to slide this little thing back in there. We actually get to crack open four packs, five packs of Battle for Ataraktia, so unofficial pack opening. Here we go. See what we get. Desert, Death Trap, Down the Drain, Fairy King's Escort, yada yada yada, Titania, a Foil Stone, and a Foil Remote Control Golem. Who knew that you were going to get a pack opening in this video as well? Let's go. So many good cards. Hey, Con Brutal Conqueror's Memoria and stuff. So I got a Special Stone, that's not bad. And if I can get a God Pack, that would be great. Or an Uber. Either one would be nice. Another Special Stone and a Foil Escort. Hey, two Special Stones. I'll take it. Yada yada yada. Another Crocker Shark. Uh, last drop foil. And last one. A uh, illusory orb. Demonic Globe Atarasia for that one. And a Black Moon Meme and some other kind of generic stuff. So that's kind of cool. Comes with like some packs and stuff. But then we get the random promos. So the random promos is two of the collection. And then one uh, special basic stone in these nice little top loaders. So we got Glimpse of Kaguya, a Rabbit of Moonlit Nights, and a Fire Stone. So you get three of these cool uh, top loaders and three promos. So I'm not going to go ahead and... We've seen those ones before. I'm going to look at the bunny though. So we got a bunny for our promo here. But these top loaders are sick. I really like them a lot. So that is it, guys. There is a lot of stuff going on here. I'll show you what a, card, what a sleeve looks like on a card real fast. So I'll just grab a card and slide it on there. So it's really nice, crisp. It'll look really good. Um, looking forward to uh, using this box personally as my like personal case to carry around at events and stuff. It's going to be super awesome. Again, huge thanks to uh, Alex Landon of Team Outer World for helping me get my hands on this case and for Ultra Pro for making such a sweet kit of stuff. Um, Go ahead and hopefully we'll get to give you guys some more of this stuff like in the future. So go ahead and let me know what you think about this box. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.